Websites like Drool, Iconic, and House of Spoils are charging hundreds and even thousands of dollars for prints that honestly, AI can generate in under 10 minutes. Today, I'll show you exactly how to build the same business model, no art skills required. This is something I set up in less than 24 hours and just to prove this actually works, here's a quick look at the final store I built using this exact method, all using free or very affordable tools. And here's what's crazy, with a print on demand tool like Printful, which is today's sponsor, handling everything from printing to shipping, these businesses are essentially passive income machines. Since Printful agreed to partner on this video with me, use the link in the description or go to joseph.so slash Printful to join for free and support this channel. And if you stick around, I will give you a passive marketing strategy that will sell your art on autopilot while you sleep, You'll just wait and see. Okay, first we need to actually understand what's selling in the wall art space. I spent hours analyzing successful stores. Here's what I've discovered. First on my list, abstract art designs are huge, complementary colors, earth tones, even monochromatic. Next is motivational canvases. This is something ChatGPT excels at creating. All you need is a simple quote and a motivational background and you're ready to go. Next is interesting illustrations. Using unique characters and imaginative details, you can create something really cool. Next is film style travel photos. So these kind of have a vintage feel to them, often with cars and animals and landmarks. And then finally, floral and botanical illustrations. A lot of people really love putting botanical plant style images and illustrations on their walls because it they feel like it brings a little bit of life into their rooms. The category you choose should match the audience you're targeting, your own taste and preferences. The great news is that AI can create winning designs in all five of these categories. Now that we know what actually sells, let's dive into actually creating the art. So first I wanna show you some of the images. I find that the less realistic things often are best inside of ChatGPT. So here's an example of a poster with text. ChatGPT did all of the text and everything. And I did a similar one here that is called Lo-Fi Wave. And you can see these are like more like text-based posters that we saw in some of the examples. And then I also did what's called a risograph. And here's an illustration of a plant. So you see there's kind of a theme going on here. These aren't extremely realistic. This is more like art. Now in Midjourney, I did experiment with things like this. Vintage photographs is where I feel like Midjourney is truly exceptional. So here's an example of that. This is a Toyota Land Cruiser shot on film done in Midjourney. This is somewhere in California. Here's an example of a wave. Here's another one of a woman in Italy. Honestly, this just blows me away. I mean, these results are really amazing. This looks like a professional photo that you might see in a magazine. Whatever style you want to recreate, you can. Here's a photo of a woman, I'm guessing at the beach, and she has some sunglasses. All these were done in mid-journey, and you could see how exceptional the realism is for these images, right? So if you're looking for that, Midjourney is definitely the place to go. For these examples, I spent hours tweaking and refining dozens of prompts to land on some perfect options. To be honest, figuring out the right prompts really is the hardest part. First, I'll show you how to use ChatGPT and then I'll show you Midjourney. Okay, so first, to generate with ChatGPT, go to chatgpt.com and all you have to do is type slash create image and then go to the Notion doc that I provided in the description and copy one of the ChatGPT prompts. And then just paste it in, send it off, and ChatGPT will get started creating your image. You can see the prompt does include the dimensions. That's super important if you want to have full control over the final image. And just like that, we have a neon botanical style print. And now one of the other reasons that I like to use ChatGPT is because the text generation within images is so good. So if we go to create image and paste in this next prompt, you can see I've specified the text. And instead of doing the dimensions, I specified a paper print style. So A2 is a certain paper shape, right? So we can paste that in and it will get started. And just like that, the text is done. It's all perfectly aligned. 
and everything looks great. So you just click the download button and you're ready to go. Now, if you want truly photorealistic images, then you're going to want to use Midjourney. It's affordable at just $10 a month, but if that's too much, you can just skip to the next step. I personally think these images are worth it. You can charge a lot more for art if it's perceived as almost like fine art for your walls and Midjourney can do that for you. Okay, now let me show you how easy it is to create something inside of Midjourney. First, let's go back to the Notion doc and copy one of the prompts that I provided and go to create inside of Midjourney and just paste it in. Midjourney is a little bit more complicated than ChatGPT, so there are a few different controls here. You can see I've got my dimensions set to landscape. I'm using raw version seven. Weirdness and variety are at zero, but I have stylization turned to 100. These are things that you can experiment with, but these are settings that I have found to work well for me and these images that we're generating. I have personalization turned off, but you can also experiment with that. Now all we do is click submit. Look how good these waves look, guys. I mean, they're literally perfect. It's actually crazy how simple all of this is. Now let me do one more example here. So this is the other prompt of the woman at the beach. If we click here, let's change it to portrait this time, just to see how that goes. We'll click submit and let that generate. Cool, so I think I prefer the landscape version I provided in the example. This one looks extremely realistic, wow. Now, if you have an image that you think you would like to use, you can click on it and you have some controls over here. The journey gives you a lot of control here, all kinds of different buttons you can click, but all we have to do is click on the subtle upscale. So if we click that, we're going to get a higher resolution image, and this is going to be the image you actually want to use. These are very low resolution. They look good here, but they won't look good on a poster. And you may want to upscale it even more using the tool I'm showing you in this video. But yeah, that looks pretty amazing. Now you just click download and save it to your computer. These results are amazing, honestly. So now I wanna show you another secret. So let's say you don't know how to write a prompt, but you wanna create an image like this one. So all you have to do is take a screenshot of this image. So let me quickly do that and save it. And then open up ChatGPT. And all you have to do is go create image and drag in your screenshot. And then all you have to do is put in a prompt like this, recreate an image in this style. Now, ChatGPT will start generating. So you can see this is almost exactly the same, right? So what I recommend you do is not just replicate other pieces of art, at least change it a bit. So what we could do is say, recreate this in a blue gradient, and now it's going to generate again. Right, so now we have something that's entirely original and it uses the same style, but it's different, right? Okay, now let me show you how to do something similar in Midjourney. So if we screenshot this image here of what it looks like a sand dune and the moon, we can save that to our computer and we can open up Midjourney and we can drag it in. And you can see we have the option to do image prompt, style reference, omni reference, or drop image into describe. If you want to write a prompt and use this image as inspiration, you could choose one of these. What I like to do is drop it in here to describe. And what it's going to do is generate a prompt based on the image. And now if we click on the prompt, it will create an original piece of art in the same style. We can do several of them. Now, these are not going to be exactly the same. We're not using a reference image. As you can see, the prompts had different results. I think this one was a lot closer to the original and it's a lot better overall. I think this one right here is pretty good. I think this one might be my favorite. That one looks great. I love how it's a little bit lighter blue here and these dunes look amazing. And this is original work, right? It's not stolen from this one. It's something entirely different, but the AI was able to just pull the best parts out of that image and recreate something entirely original. It's actually too easy to do this, honestly. Like I'm really surprised how well this works. Now, another secret is the upscaling. So if you go to upscale, you can use this AI image upscaler for free. Oftentimes AI outputs are just simply too low of a resolution and using upscaler is going to give you that high enough resolution that we're looking for for our images. Now, if you click on download, you will see a couple options here. If you're on Mac like me, clicking this button will require you to pay for upscale. Instead, click on alternative downloads and scroll down below Mac OS 
and choose DMG free. Upscale is free because you're doing the upscaling using your own computer. If you don't have a strong enough computer, this may not work for you, but it does work for Mac and Windows. To upscale your image, you're just going to drag whichever image you want into the app, and then you're going to select an AI model. So if you're using something that's like a graphic digital art, select digital art, but this is more like a photo style. So we're going to use upscale standard here. Then you can adjust the image upscaling right here. I'm going to go with 4X and click upscale. Okay, now it's done. As you can see, it does remove some of the grain that gets added to the image here that makes it look more film-like. So if that's a deal breaker, then you might not want to use upscale, but it does do a really good job of upscaling the image for us. Now let's build the actual Shopify store. It's really easy. Once you've created your account, the first thing to do is pick a free theme that you like. So you just go to your online store and you can go to the theme store here at the bottom and filter by free. And you can pick a look that you like. There's a bunch of options here. Uh, I selected Spotlight, but you can select other ones like Horizon, Saver, Craft. Now make sure you give your store a good name. I used the name Grid, but you can call it something else. Make sure it's not something generic like AI art store. These are people that care about design in their home, so they're not looking for anything generic. Pick a name that feels cool and sleek or that fits the aesthetic that you're going for for your niche. And that's basically all you need to do. You can go to your pages and you can set up various pages for about and shipping and return policies and everything. But otherwise, you have a basic store ready to go. It'll look something like this. Shopify really makes it extremely easy. Now, let me show you how simple it is to connect Shopify to Printful. First, you'll find Printful in the Shopify app store. So to do that, you click add apps and go to Shopify app store. Now we just search Printful and click install. From here, you click install again and you create an account. It was really that simple. Now Printful is literally connected to Shopify. And from this point forward, every order that comes through your Shopify store will automatically be sent to Printful for fulfillment. They print it, pack it, and ship it directly to your customer. You never have to touch a single product. Now let's create our product. So click on add products here inside the Printful app. And we're gonna go to home and living. As you can see, there's lots of options, but we're doing home decor, art prints. So let's click on home and living and choose wall art. Now we have the option to do posters or canvas prints. We're going to choose canvas prints because you can charge more specifically the framed canvas. Even though it costs more at $27, it's perceived as more valuable by the customer. So you can list it as an even higher price and it'll have a higher perceived value, right? So choose framed canvas. And now it's going to open up Printful. And now we're inside Printful's product designer. So we're going to choose horizontal for this example because I'm using a landscape piece of art. And we're going to deselect all of these. We don't need all these different dimensions. We're going to go with 12 by 18 and 20 by 30 and 24, 36. These sizes I have found work really well with the landscape 16 by nine image dimensions that we generated earlier. So now I'll click on upload the big blue circle here and click upload again, and then upload your art. And now we have our image here. You can see that it's going to be cut off here. These are the sides of the canvas and that will change a little bit based on the dimensions. If you do need to make any adjustments, you can zoom in and out here, depending on the image and how you wanna frame it. Okay, now watch what I'm about to show you. You may find that your art doesn't have a high enough DPI. That stands for dots per inch. And depending on how you generated your art, it might not have a high enough DPI. So if you go to photopia.com and upload your image for free, you can increase your DPI. So just go to image, click on image size, turn off resample and turn your DPI to 300 and click OK. Now you just click export as 
and save it. Now, if your DPI is good and your image is properly aligned on the canvas, click continue. And now next, we're going to choose a mock-up. So we could choose to just do a white background. We could have this image of it being held. This one's pretty cool. It has it on like a concrete background. I think that probably fits the vibe that we're going for. Now, I highly suggest you take the time here to edit the descriptions. You can create a fun description based around the image that you uploaded. But make sure you leave all of these details here about the canvas and actual construction of the product. That's super important for the customer to be able to see these things. We do want to give it a title here so we can call it Beach Sunglasses. And that's all we have to do. Click continue. Now, pricing is really important. You could do it based on just vibes here, but a good rule of thumb here is to target a profit margin of at least 100% and then round up to the nearest $10 or $25 increment that matches the premium feel of your brand. So you can see the costs here from Printful, and then you can also choose to include free shipping for your customers. If our product cost is $45, we want to at least make this $95 or $100. That's going to give us a $40 profit. That is just base as low as I would go. For these larger canvases, you can go much more expensive so we could do 145 and 195 if you like but as you saw a lot of the brands in this space are charging a lot more it's really up to you and you can also experiment with this increasing it and decreasing it depending on how your canvases are converting after you set your price you click continue beach sunglasses has been added and now we can view it in shopify so you can see our image has been overlaid on the canvas with the black frame and it's got the concrete mock-up here. So now you just repeat that process over and over again as you populate your store with different products. As you can see, I went ahead and created canvases for each of the images that I generated and now we have an actual store. I think it looks pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Remember that marketing strategy that I mentioned earlier? Marketing is truly the hardest part of any business and paid ads are super expensive. So I wanted to give you guys a unique low cost way to advertise your new store. So here's how it works without needing any ads or money or following or anything. Okay, so the beauty of YouTube is that you can create a video and it will get views for years. That's my goal with my own channel to create videos that will continue to compound and grow for years to come. But I discovered something really interesting that's happening on YouTube when planning this video. So if you go and you type in ambient music mix, something like that, you're going to find all these different long form videos and they have these really interesting images in the background and nothing else really going on. So for example, this one is an actual painting that they've used and it's 310,000 views in three months. This is another one, someone looking at a spaceship, 296 in two months. And here's another one for 524,000 views in four months and a simple image. So I actually took this one and I went over to Midjourney and created something in a similar style. So essentially the idea here is that you could create a video using this image create some background music to go with it then this video could generate traffic and then here in the description you can sell you can sell your print on demand canvases right here in the top of the description and all this happens passively you're not actively doing anything youtube is finding you viewers you now you might be wondering how do i create the music for this hour two hour long mix of music well really simple if you use a tool like suno.com you can create this music in seconds so if we go to create I've already experimented with this a bit and you can see I've created one called Solitude here and on the right side we can see the prompt that I use a pure ambient drone in D minor featuring airy synth pads and I'm going to play a few seconds of it it's for you to hear it sounds pretty great and if I played these for you you would see that it's pretty similar in style I'll also include some of these prompts in the notion doc in the description but then all you would do is upload them into CapCut or into Adobe Premiere and piece them together with this in the background and do a fade between the songs and you're ready to go. Suno is super affordable. It's a really good deal and you actually own the music that you create. And then if your videos actually get views, you'll get YouTube AdSense revenue as well. So it's a marketing strategy that also generates income for you.
entirely passive. All right, you guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to join Printful, make sure you go to the link in the description. Using that link supports this channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, here are some other ones that I made that I think you'll like as well. Have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next one.